Let's also check in on a few telecommunications companies as shares of Verizon as well as AT&T. They're moving this morning. This is following a 2023 outlook from Moffitt Nathanson showing an upgrade to market perform from underperform for Verizon and downgrading AT&T to underperform from market perform. Uh, we're taking a look at shares of both Verizon is higher by about four tenths of a percent. AT&T down right now by about one and a half percent. Um, and this is just something that they, they do cyclically looking back over the past year and then trying to refresh some of the, the theme perspectives that they have. Um, but this moving shares of both of those telecoms companies. Yeah, small nuance for me on the bottom of this report, uh, you have another, I would say, research shop highlighting T-Mobile uh, and the really strong year they yeah. have had. They're saying T-Mobile once again looks like the industry's most attractive investment. That continues to be the vibe on Wall Street when it comes to the telecoms. Of course, T-Mobile got some really great spectrum uh, from the acquisition of Sprint. They have also just cut a lot of expenses out this business. CEO Mike Sievert just operating a lot faster than some of his competitors. Well, and so it's interesting here because um, Craig Moffitt over there at SVB Moffitt, Nathanson, saying that it is um, – not their their sort of fundamental views of these companies have not changed. They've liked T-Mobile, mm -hmm. um, and they thought that AT and T and Verizon were weaker. It's just a matter of what the stocks have done. So they, uh, in their view, AT and T has outperformed, sort of unjustifiably so, and Verizon has been hit, perhaps. Uh, maybe unjustifiably so or too much given even though its outlook is sort of anemic maybe it's down too much so it seems to be mostly a valuation call that they're making on AT&T and Verizon specifically even as they're still positive well, you have AT on T-Mobile. You have AT&T a large reason why it has done pretty well this year is they no longer have those media assets they dumped that over in Discovery and look at all the write downs they're now seeing so their cost base has really improved this year. Yeah but the fundamental business is still. Oh, yeah they're still selling phones. Kind of yeah. meh. <laughs> I think. Well, we'll see what part of the cycle that we're at and people buying phones out there and starting up some of those new plans. Perhaps we'll get a better insight after the holiday season once we see how many of those new devices have been worked through as well.